Welcome back to the show. Here we have Davey, the adorable Parsons Russell Terrier, who was left outside of the Sunny Slope campus. Yet, Denise, Davey hasn't let it affect his spunky personality. Absolutely not. And unfortunately, we see things like that a lot. Um, animals get abandoned outside of the shelter. But what's really awesome is that they don't let it affect them. They have the most positive, awesome ability to move on and take one day at a time and they know when they end up here at AHS they're going to be okay. And this guy too. He is absolutely the most loving dog. He loves everybody. He loves men, he loves women, he loves kids. He's very curious and he absolutely loves to give kisses. And I also know that he loves squeaky toys like this one right here, um, which he was playing with on the table right before we started filming. So come on down, meet Davey or any of our other animals today. They will absolutely love you for it. And if you have a pet at home that you're struggling to care for and you need some resources to help you be the best pet owner possible, reach out to our Pet Resource Center, an empathetic team of trained professionals dedicated to providing resources to Valley pet owners, keeping pets in homes, and helping to save more lives. To reach us, call the number on your screen. And Ricky and Taffy here are fun-loving, energetic, playful pups who would love to help keep you active this summer. Perry, tell us more about what type of home would best suit these. Too. Well, uh, Megan, these guys actually came in as part of an unwanted litter. Um, they were a little bit underweight when they first came in, so they had to go to a foster home. We've already talked about the foster program. What a great way to get the family involved and save some lives. So these guys went to a foster home. The foster mom says that they are a bundle of laughs. Here, little Ricky, the male that Allie is holding right now, or actually, let's talk about the, uh, the female that Max has. She is supposedly the bold one of the family, so she's a little more outgoing. And you we're calling these Sharpay lab mixes. I think you can see this dog looks very, very lab. Whereas the uh, female, Ricky over here, is much more kind of the Sharpay looking one. And she's supposed to be, uh, or the, the male Ricky is supposed to be much more of the shy guy. But he's coming out of his shell just nicely. Um, they are probably going to need some training. And you know what? We have a free puppy socialization class here at the Humane Society at both locations. It is absolutely free. We call them puppy parties. You come in, you get your puppy socialized with older dogs and other people. It's a great way to start out with these guys. So check that out on our website. So come on down and get these guys, get one, get two. We got Ricky, Allie, and Max. Come on down. <laughs> With her dashing good looks and sweet personality, Midnight would be a wonderful companion for anyone needing some kitten cuddles. Lisa, tell us about this sweetheart. Well, Midnight was found by a good Samaritan wandering the streets all by herself, which is no place for a black cat. So we saved the best for last to show you the wonderful personality of Midnight here. She is spunky, independent, and she's a little nervous around the dogs. So she's only 13 weeks old. So if you are thinking of adding a cat to your household and you're not used to socializing dogs and cats, be sure that you give the cat space from your dog. Your dog is normally going to be the more forward one and the cat is going to retreat a little bit from your dog. It may take a few swipes at your dog, so be sure that you have your cat in a place that they can escape to and get away from the dog. But dogs and cats, especially young like this, normally get along very, very well. She may be nervous in the beginning, but if you give her time to warm up, she will be fine. And your dog needs to be cat friendly, of course. So Midnight here, lucky for us, she came to, for those Good Samaritans, brought her into us. She is a climber. She wants to climb up on cat condos. She also takes cat naps in the sun. She loves to lay around in the sun. And like we have talked about, it's kind of kitten season, if you haven't noticed, at the shelter. Our shelter is brimming full of kittens. We have all shapes, all sizes, any type of cat you could want. We have blue-eyed cats. We have beautiful black cats like Midnight here. We have cats that are in need of a little more foster care. So if you're just wanting to try out some kittens, you can always come in and uh, help in our nursery to volunteer, bottle feed, make sure everybody's eating on gruel and help us weigh the kittens. So there is, if you love kittens, now is a wonderful time at the shelter. Volunteer, adopt, and um, midnight here will